If you want to know how to set up Facebook automated responses so you can serve your customers even better without extra work, I'm going to show you in this video, all right? Let's get into it. Hello, busy people. Welcome to 5-Minute Social Media, where we help busy business owners get powerful social media results without the need for a big team, a big budget, or posting every single day. That sounds like something you like or want? Take a second, hit subscribe, click that bell. That way you'll be notified each week when we release another helpful video. My name is Jerry Potter, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use Facebook's automated responses. Now, none of us want our customers or clients to feel like they're talking to a bot of some sort or anything automated, but with the amazing tools that Facebook has given us right now, you can actually improve your non-automated customer service with the help of these automated responses. So to get there, from your business page, you're gonna start by clicking Inbox on the left side. By default, it will take you to all messages, but you wanna come down to the bottom and click Automated Responses. And now I'll go in order on how each one of these works and some best practices for setting them up for your business. And by the way, you can access these on your phone. You wanna pull up the Facebook Business Suite app, which was formerly known as the Pages Manager app. You can see that note there at the top. And inside, you can go to the toolbox on the lower right, then settings, then automated responses, and you'll have the same options here that you'd have on a computer. I'm gonna run through it on the computer though just because I think it's a lot easier to see as we go through the tutorial. As you're looking at this, by the way, depending on where you are in the country or what type of page you have, you may have different options, but I think I've got most of the major options here and I will go through and show you all of those in this tutorial. The first one at the top is called Instant Reply. And so if you wanted to use this one, you would turn it on, of course. And this is just so that if you want somebody to get a reply right away, perhaps to manage their expectations, you can have one. So I don't use this, but you can see the default message is, thanks for contacting us. We've received your message and appreciate you reaching out. But if you're pretty active on your page, or maybe you answer messages between 8 a.m. and 5 p.m., whatever your local time is, then you might want to hit edit and then go through and change that. So it says, for me, it might be... Thanks for your message. I'll do my best to get back to you ASAP. For faster answers to your questions, feel free to join and post in our Facebook community and then the link there. So that would be what they would get in their auto reply. Now, one more thing that's kind of cool, and this comes up throughout these, is you can add a little bit of personalization. So I can say, instead of thanks for your message, I can say, thanks for your message, space, and then you have first name, last name, full name, uh, and then there's your Facebook page link and website. So those are all things that you can have in here. So I might have the first name there. So now I can see over here, it says, thanks for your message, Jerry, because they'll show you by default. I can also see there's an extra space there. So I'm gonna backspace that so that I make sure that it looks okay. So this is how it will appear when somebody sees the message when they get back. So that's something you can set up on your page. And just recently they've added it so that you can have them on Instagram as well. Assuming that your Instagram account is connected to your Facebook business page. Next up is the away message. And this is another one that I have turned off because I don't really have business hours per se. When you hit edit, you'll see is you can actually set times. So this is again where you could say, okay, between eight and five, I don't want an automated response. But then from 5 p.m. until 8 a.m., I want it to say, thanks so much for contacting us. Someone will get back to you first thing in the morning. We're closed now, something along those lines. So that's what you can do with that one. And again, you've got the personalization options there. This next section is share and get information. And so under here, one of the options is frequently asked questions. Now, sometimes by default, a page will have these turned on and they're super generic. And I think Facebook has gotten better about this. But when they first rolled out, it was like, can you tell me where you are located? Can you tell me more about your business? And I suppose it would prompt people to get into a conversation with you, which can be good, but it's really good to change it to something that might lead to something for you. So for example, I have three frequently asked questions here. The first one, do you have a course about social media? Second, do you offer one-on-one -on -one coaching? Because that's another question I get a lot. And then the third one I just put in there for a little personality and fun, what's your favorite ice cream flavor? I like having a question like that, just so that if somebody doesn't know what else to ask, then they have something they can click on. Because again, when you get into conversations with people, they have a higher chance of becoming a customer or a client. So to use these, first make sure the switch is toggled to on, and then you hit edit. And what you do is you go through and you put in the question, and then again, you write the answer and you can use personalization. 
So the one that says, do you have a course about social media? It goes through and says, yes, I do. And kind of just gives a quick couple sentences about it. And then down below it says, learn more. And then there's a link to go to the website where you can learn more about the course. Same thing for the next one. Do you offer one-on-one -on -one coaching? And then for the last one, what's your favorite ice cream flavor? I've got my answer there, cookies and cream. And then I say, what's yours? And then I have the personalization. So the name is in there. One other option under here, as you can see, it says add to menu. And so if you turn this on, this means that this question will always be available to them to click on if you wanted to make sure it was available. So in other words, if it was your most asked question, like when are your hours or something like that, you might want it there no matter where they go. So I don't really use that, but right now, so if you said, what's your favorite ice cream, then it would say, what's yours? And then that would be the end of it. Next up is contact information. And essentially if somebody types contact or contact you or contact information in the box, this is the response that's supposed to come up. I've seen it work and I've seen it not work. So it tends to be a little bit buggy, but what you do is you go through and you can have a message like want to contact us, choose your preferred method below. And then you can have a link to your website form. You could have a link to your phone number or different things like that. So that's how that is designed to work. I don't use that one because I actually respond to my messages here in Messenger. But if this is not your primary place, like let's say you've got people coming in messages all over the place and you want them all to go to your one email inbox or to your Facebook group or whatever, you're trying to consolidate and that makes sense for your business, then this is where if somebody typed contact you, then you would reply saying the fastest way or the best way to get responses from us or anything like that is to go here. So that's a good use for that. But I'm having that turned off on my page. If you are a local business, this is the same thing, uh, but you do have to have, as you see, an address listed on your page. So you can go through and if you had, um, you know, somebody asked about your location, then you could have information, not only as it says here on Facebook, not only about your location, like your address, but also links to directions, parking, public transit, different things like that. So that's kind of a cool tool if you are a local business. Uh, send confirmations, if you use it for job applications, then you could have a message that goes to them as soon as they send their job application in. And then this last section is called follow-up. And here's what we have in here. So if you use Facebook appointments, this is a great tool and I can't imagine using Facebook appointments without <laughs> having this, but you can go through and if somebody books something with you, then the day before you can have a message automatically going out to them that says, we're looking forward to your appointment. You can see there's no edit feature here, at least not as of now. So it's just kind of a reminder the day before, like, hey, you've got an appointment tomorrow. Then appointment follow-up, this one you can actually edit, and this is something that goes out to them after their appointment. So if you come in here and you click edit, uh, you can choose when you want it to go out. So for example, the default here you can say is two weeks. It says, hey Jerry, we'd love to have you back for another appointment. You can of course make this say whatever you want. I have not seen any way to have it turn off um, if the person doesn't show up for their appointment. So that's just something you might wanna keep in mind when you choose your verbiage that you're gonna use here. And then these last two are about page recommendations or page reviews. And so if somebody recommends you on Facebook, which is really powerful, it basically leaves you a review, then you can have an automated message go out to them automatically. So if I click edit here, Hi, thanks for recommending us. We're glad you had a great experience. You can add an image. You could even record a video where you say, you know, hey, thank you so much for recommending us. It means a lot. You know, whatever you wanted to say there. You can have an image, um, different things like that. And by setting this up, it's a great way if you're getting a lot of recommendations to acknowledge those recommendations. I don't have this on because I like to go in and personally acknowledge every recommendation that I get. You'll also notice that the timing is 10 minutes after somebody shares. So it's not instant. So the idea is that it doesn't feel automated. And then this last one is page not recommended. So if somebody was asked, hey, do you recommend your company? And they said no, then 10 minutes later, you can send them a message to say, hey, we're sorry you had a bad experience. Please let us know how we can improve. Um, again, you can have a video or an image. You can add a button. Maybe you have a feedback form where you collect feedback. Maybe you have some sort of verbiage that you use like, we guarantee satisfaction and we would love the chance to make this right. Please send us a message with more details about why 
you chose not to recommend us so we can improve for the future, something like that. And then you have a link to your form where you collect all of that information. So that's a great way to manage your reputation with your pages. Again, I monitor mine and like to reply to them personally, so I don't have any of these automations turned on. Now, automated responses are one way to save time on social media, but if you really want to save time, grab my free guide, Six Ways to Cut Your Social Media Workload in Half, all right? You can click the link on the screen here, or if it's not showing on your device, you can also find it in the description of this video. Thank you so much for watching 5-Minute Social Media. You're not only supporting me, but also my two tiny superheroes at home.